previously on Peanut Butter Gamer Top 10s. Hey look, I was on a boat, what do you know? Oh, now it's an island, whoa, there's a monkey, don't remember why I did that. Oh look, now I'm on an island, whoa, this couldn't possibly be any better. The Top 10 Suckiest Enemies in Video Games We're gonna start off with one of my favorite games ever, Half-Life. By the way, I really wanna play Half-Life 3, go ahead and get on that thing, pal. Zombies, they're not very good. Sure, they're scary at first, but only until you realize they're not. Not at all, actually. All it takes to beat them is the crowbar. You don't even have to waste any ammo because they're too slow to catch you. And the worst part about it is that they have no excuse. The fast zombies are pretty tough. What's these guys' problem? Lack of effort. Just flat out lack of effort. I mean, look at this. They aren't even trying. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I don't even need to kill them. They just kill themselves. <laughs> I guess I should be thankful. Rock of Ages has got to be one of the weirdest games I've played in a while. If you took Katamari Damacy, maybe Pinball, Just a Ball, and then went Puzzle Game, you know, the one with the thing, and you made a baby out of him, you'd get, you know. Uh. Basically what I'm trying to say is that this game is weird. Also, it's got some sucky enemies. Well, I guess you could call these guys enemies. They'd certainly be higher on the list if I actually felt confident in that, but screw it, this is my list. I say they're enemies, so shut up! Despite the fact that they do nothing, they are in your way, and they do appear to be the ones building the obstacles and cows that block your path. Yes, cows. Did I mention this game was weird? Hey, look at him go! Heh, ah! <laughs> his life just ended. I know you're all expecting Goombas to be somewhere on this list, but I've got something even worse. Koopas. The Green Koopas to be exact. Sure, both Goombas and the Green Koopas walk off the cliff and are generally useless, but at least the Goombas have guts. They'll rush straight for you no matter what the consequences. But the Koopas are cowards. In some games they run away from you in fear, and in others you stomp on their head and they just hide in their shells. And then they allow themselves to be used as weapons against their friends. And if you think that's pathetic, just watch them run around in their underwear after you take their shell for a little spin. I play League of Legends too much. That's not relevant to what I'm about to talk about, I'm just saying. Minions are pretty retarded. Literally, I think they are. Oh, he's attacking our Soraka! Get him! Huh? Where'd he go? There he is! Oh, nope, he's gone. Not only do minions suck, they give you gold when you kill them. If they're gonna charge blindly into the field of battle, they should at least leave their gold back at the base. Charge! Oh, almost forgot my gold. Gonna need that for when I die. And once you get some gear, boy are minions easy to kill. Bam, 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 my master ye- Well, I gotta go make some peanut butter crunch. Just gonna go AFK next to Baron for half an hour. Uh-oh. Looks like things are getting a bit out of hand. No big. I'm Master Yi. Bam, bam, bam. Oh wait, let me sell these boots. I need another Phantom Dancer. Bam, 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 right click to the Nexus, we win! Usually I don't talk about the Zelda CDI games. Like Nintendo, I prefer to just pretend like they never existed. But in this case, I felt like I just had to. Ganon in the Faces of Evil is just plain awful. Just listen to his fireball attacks. That's it? That's all he's got? He shoots fireballs and all Link has to do is stand there? Not to mention that the only thing it takes to beat him is a book. A freaking book! And if this is the guy that kills you, you know you're pretty much the worst ever. I won! Alright, some enemies are bad. They do very little and they just walk straight up to you. Jump on their head, bam, they're dead. But how many enemies help you beat the game? Well, the Monstars from Braid do. In fact, not only do they help you, the game would be impossible if they didn't exist. Jumping on their heads makes you jump higher, and there's some places in the game that you couldn't even get to without jumping on them. 
that is a whole new level of suck. And not only do they help you instead of harm you, even if they do manage to kill you somehow, you can just reverse the time back and undo it. An infinite amount of times. GG, Monstars. GG. Magikarp, everybody's favorite fish. Except for most of the other fish. Let's face it, if Magikarp didn't eventually evolve into Gyarados, he'd be number one on the list. Hands down. But maybe I'm being a little bit too hard on him. Alright Magikarp, let's see what you got. A heated battle is unfolding in the Coliseum. Alright, next! Oh wait, I almost forgot! At least he's the only Pokemon that can be accurately imitated by a three-year-old girl. So, he's got that going for him. There's a lot of pretty poor enemies in Earthbound. I was actually thinking of using the Worthless Protoplasm or something like that, but then I remembered this guy. He goes by Negative Man, and boy does he live up to his name. There's just no way I can win! Wow, is this a boss fight? No, really, I'm actually not sure if it is. You attack him and he retaliates by muttering depressing statements. He does actually attack you though, occasionally. All right, it's time to be real here. Just me, you, and PBG. Wait a second, that doesn't make any sense. I've never actually played Dynasty Warriors. I have nothing against it by any means, I've just never played it. But I have seen it. Boy, have I seen it. What is this? What's going on? Why is this one guy beating up all these other guys so easily? They don't even seem to attack back. They just stand around and wait to be killed. Why don't they just give up? I mean, look at this. Oh. Wait, he got up from that? Maybe they're more tough than I thought. I don't know. It just seems so silly to me. I mean, come on. Girls can't play video games. You just kidding, please don't sue me. Here it is, the number one suckiest enemy in video games. At least according to this loser. And it's from a Kirby game, big surprise. I could probably give the honor to any one of these guys. They all suck. I mean, you can just fly over them, they don't do anything. I'm good at video games, look at me. But there's one that stands out from the rest. The Broom Hatter. You know, the guy that just stands there sweeping. Sweeping? How very threatening. Be careful, don't stand in the dust, you might get hurt. But even if you do, it kills him. Dead. His only attack, if you can even call it that, kills him when he hits you with it. What a champ. Well, that's pretty much all there is to say about this guy. I mean, as you discover in Kirby's Avalanche for the Super Nintendo, he even sucks at puzzle games. Oh, what a mess! Must I clean up this entire forest? I'd worry more about cleaning up your avalanche skills first. Oh, you got him, Kirby. <laughs> Burn. Hey, thanks for watching my video. It was a top 10. Did you see? Uh, you can watch the video I did last time. Click right here. If you want, if you like more videos, uh, you can subscribe. There's a button for that. You can click the like button if you liked it. But like, I care. Why would I care about that? You know? I know. I don't care about the like, nice shiny green bar. I don't care about that. It doesn't make me happy at all. No. So. Secret bonus feature, top one least sucky enemy in video games. It's the Yeti from the Free Ski. How do you beat the stomach?